Hey guys, Korean Billy here, and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be talking about Son Heung Min, the Korean football player who is now playing for Tottenham Hotspur. But especially, I'm going to talk about his British accent. So he came to the UK after playing in Germany. He used to speak in German very well, and now he's been living in the UK over five years. His British accent is not perfect, but now he's got a bit of British accent. So today we're going to take a look at his interview clips and see how his British accent is. Only one place to start. What a goal! No, I can't. I can't be humble today. So this is the interview he had after he beat Arsenal, and he did an incredible job. So he was really pleased. So I chose that interview clip. And when we take a look at his interview clips, he speaks in an interesting accent. No, I can't. I can't be humble today. So he says like, I can't be humble today. So for your information, when it comes to Korean English education, everything is based on American English. So Korean people usually speak in the American accent, even though their American accent is not perfect, they tend to have American style accent, not the British style. But now Son Heung Min is just surrounded by British football players. So now he's kind of absorbing British accents. So I think he's got a bit of British style accent. So that's why he said, I can't be humble today. So in American accent, it's more like, I can't be humble. But instead of I can't, he said, I can't be humble today. It's not like the perfect British accent, but it's more towards the British accent, which is I can't be humble today. And next one. This was our first chance to score a goal like this. It's, uh, it's really, really good. And I think it's like Son Heung Min's habit, but every time he speaks in English, he often say like, really, really. It's, uh, it's really, really good. And Instead of just really, he often say really, really. In this one as well, he says, it's really, really good. So that's also kind of like British style pronunciation. So in British accent, really, is kind of like different from the American accent. So in the American accent, it's more like really, really. But in the British accent, it's like really, really. So he says really, really good rather than really, really good. So if you listen carefully, he says it's, uh, it's really, really good. Um, really, really good. It's not like perfect British accent, really but he's trying to speak that way. So it's like really, really good. Yeah, the team performance was uh, phenomenal. And also he said the team performance was phenomenal. Let's take a look at that word, performance. The team performance was uh, phenomenal. So performance is also different in the American accent and in the British accent. And in the American accent, it's more like performance. So in the American accent, the R sound is very different. And in the British accent, it's more like performance, right? But Son Heung Min says more like performance. The team performance was uh, phenomenal. He doesn't really roll the tongue to make the R sound. So he says performance rather than performance. So it's more like the British accent. Also, when it comes to the vocabulary, the team performance was uh, phenomenal. He said the team performance was phenomenal. Well, he said really, really good. So we kind of like misunderstand. He only uses like really, really good, really, really great, really, really bad. But he sometimes uses this kind of phenomenal, this kind of word, which is kind of like advanced level English word. So sometimes he uses a very proper English word. So I think that shows his English vocabulary is very good as well. We are really pleased, pleased uh, that, uh, that they were here. They're supporting us like, uh, like a massive, massive game. Man. He also said we were really pleased that they were here. Instead of here in the American accent, he tried to make the sound of British accent. We are really pleased, pleased uh, that, uh, that they were here. They're supporting us like... And also he said they were supporting us rather than supporting supporting us. It's more like the American way, right? But rather than supporting, he said supporting us. They were here, they're supporting us like... Supporting us. So it's like the British way. And he also said like a massive, massive game. They're supporting us like, uh, like a massive, massive game. And I think that's also one of the features of the British accent. So it's 
not massive, but it's massive, massive. It's like short A sound, right? So he kind of like emphasized this massive, that sound. So I think that sounds really British, right? So he sounded really British in that sentence. In the American accent, it would be more like they were supporting us like a massive, massive game. Sorry about my bad American accent, but in the British accent, it's like, they were supporting us like a massive, massive game. They're supporting us like a, like a massive, massive game. And so his accent is more like this way. So he sounds more like the British guy or he's got more like the British accent. <laughs> also in this one, he uses a British word. Uh, the lads done a fantastic job for them as well. He said the lads have done a fantastic job for them as well. Right? So the lads is very, very British, right? I think American people never use the word lad, right? So lads basically means guys or mates, right? So that's British word, right? So he kind of absorbed British words while living in the UK and now he uses such words like the lads. And also he said job as well. Uh, the lads done a fantastic job for them as well. So in the American accent, it's more like jab, but he said job. So it's more like the British way of saying this word, job. So with his saying las and job with a British accent, he really sounds British, right? <laughs> All right, so we've been taking a look at some of his interview clips and we've talked a little bit about his English accent or British accent. And what do you think about his British accent? How do you like his British accent? Well, his British accent is not like the perfect accent like a native British person, but who cares? Like he can communicate with other British people and British footballers and like with everybody. So I think his English skill is incredible. And I really respect that. He tried really, really hard to study English because I know that when he came to the UK more than five years ago, his English was not really great to have an interview by himself. But after spending time in the UK over five years, he can just have a chat with interviewers from Sky TV, BBC, like sports channels by himself. And even he makes a joke. So I think that's incredible. And I think his other British football mates like Deli Ali helped him a lot in that way. So I'm really amazed that his English skills have improved that much. And I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell as well. And also leave a comment. All right, and I'll come back to you guys with the next video. Bye.